Hi, I'm from the division of Cavite, and now I will be showing or presenting to you our research study entitled Implementation of Inclusive Education in the Division of Cavite, Spread and Receiving Teachers' Perceptions. I'm Maria Theresa E. Obrero, together with my co-authors Maria Victoria B. Maligayo, Basilisa R. Digma, and Arceli M. Lucero. The education and special groups for school year 2017-2018 in the Philippines, there were 22,129 learners with disability and special education needs, and the highest number of SPED learners was actually in Region 2, while the least number was recorded in Region 8. Here on the screen, as you can see, the number of learners with disability and male got the highest number, which is 12,264, and like the female, got only 9,865. Now, here in this study, inclusive education was officially developed in 1987 in the Philippines by the Department of Education as an educational alternative wherein children with disabilities were included within a regular school. In line with the department thr department's thrust in providing quality education for all, the DEPAD continues to provide the necessary educational interventions for learners with special needs. The research questions in this study wanted to know also what are the teachers' perceptions of the selected SPED teachers and receiving teachers in the implementation of inclusive ed in the Division of Cavite. And are there significant differences in the selected SPED and receiving teachers' perception on the implementation of inclusive education on the dimension of creating inclusive cultures, producing inclusive policies, and evolving inclusive practices? For the scope and limitation, out of 68 total population of the SPED teachers in the division, 51 were identified as participants of this study and also a congruent number of the receiving teachers acted as participants in the study. The methods used or the research utilized a quantitative method type of research. A sampling used was also a random sampling technique in selecting the participants of the study. In getting also the data, the researchers used or the data were gathered through the results of the standardized questionnaire of 2002 CSIE booth TNA's COM 2002 Index of Inclusion. For the results and discussions for objective number one for the SPED teachers' perceptions on the implementation of inclusive education in the division, as you can see, 43.76% mean score has actually falls on the definitely agree and 0.07 for needs more information. Unlike Unlike also with the perceptions of the receiving teachers, it has 38.84% for definitely agree and 0 0.90 for need more information. Now for objective number 3, for the significant differences in the perception of the selected SPED and receiving teachers on the dimension of creating inclusive cultures in the implementation of inclusive ed, we have a summation of 16.088, which also the interpretation of the perceptions that based on the chi-squared of independence, it has 16.088. Therefore, the degree of freedom value of 16.82, which also the decision is accepted. The null hypothesis was accepted. It shows that there is a significant differences on the perceptions of the SPED teachers and the receiving teachers under also on the um, creating inclusive cultures. For objective number four and the significant differences of perception of SPED and receiving teachers under the producing inclusive policies. So you can see the summation is 28.008 and table five, the significant differences on the perception of selected SPED receiving teachers under the evolving inclusive practices in the implementation of inclusive education. Here, as you can see in table, table 8, it's the interpretation of the perceptions of the SPED and receiving teachers in dimension 3, wherein the decision is 2.857. The null hypothesis was rejected. 
and therefore there is no significant differences in the assessment of the implementation and the perception of the spend in the receiving teachers under dimension three therefore the conclusion and recommendation in this study is receiving teachers are willing to accept inclusion despite of their limited capacity to address special educational needs since they are not specialized unlike with the special education teachers the division of cavite conducted trainings and seminars about inclusion as supported to the policies of inclusive education system still there are challenges encountered by the SPED and the receiving teachers in producing inclusive policies wherein the receiving teachers agree to some extent that all forms of support are coordinated and some of them still need more information regarding this matter. The overall results confirm that they both agree that inclusion is a desirable activity and they believe that all learners regardless of their disabilities, as long as they are severe cases, should learn in a regular classroom setting. And that's all. Thank you.